Hi, how's it going? This is the EART EGLP 620 from EART Guitars. I'm just grabbing it without looking. That was pretty smooth. I did a video on the 620 model, and I'll link that in the description so you can go, go, uh, so you can go check that one out after. Do it on your own time, okay? This is our time together right now. And uh, before we get going, EART sent this guitar to keep, and uh, they sponsored this video. So that means everything I say is a lie, including that. Just kidding. Also a lie. No. <laughs> Breathe in that microphone stank. Okay, so what is this one? Uh, 620 versus the 610. Same guitar, basically, but this one adds a flame maple top. So as the top, uh, a veneer, let's cut it open and see. Is what I would say if I was crazy, right? <laughs> because I don't need to do that. I can actually just see right here. If you look at the selector switch up close, you can see it's a thin layer. Thin layer of, I don't know if that's called a veneer or just like a thin top. I'm not an expert in this wood stuff. And my eyes don't care. Like it looks nice, so. Okay, let's talk specs. All right, starting at the top, you got EART locking tuners. I like that flame on the uh, the headstock. It's cool. It's probably just uh, it's not real. I don't know what that means. Uh, you got a truss rod trap door, so it like pops open for easy access to the truss rod. You got a rosewood fingerboard, 9.5 inch to 14 inch compound radius. I'm pretty sure that's common on most of their guitars. And then also, it's got a U to C shape. Starts off like thinner and then wider at the bottom. Uh, moving on to the body. Roasted mahogany with flame top. And uh, it looks really nice. This is a uh, uh, tobacco burst. So then you got this cream binding everywhere. And 22 medium jumbo stainless steel frets. And then uh, coming down to the electronics, you got two EART original ceramic set humbuckers. That's what they're called. Three-way switch, one volume, one tone and the tone has a push pull and the little tag said coil tap so you never <laughs> you never ag you you never argue with a tag on your guitar so if it's not a coil tap if it's a, if it's a coil split i'll let you guys discuss that in in the comments because everybody seems to want to argue about that stuff so yeah you can do uh, single coil tones as well as humbucker Let's check out the weight of this particular instance of this guitar. And I say that because guitars vary. A lot of people think that, hey, that model guitar is weight seven pounds and they all are, but no, they, they can they can vary. Why? Why do they vary? Because it's wood and the wood can be different weight. And that's, that's the science. And uh, on the back here, it's got a cavity. Let's pop that off, take a look at the electronics and uh, see what's inside. What's hiding? What are you guys hiding in there? And uh, then we'll take the resistance of the pickups. I did forget to check the uh, coil tap value. You got the humbucker values. I'll survive, it's all right. Let's cycle through the pickups and all the different tones, we'll play some clean stuff, dirty stuff, do the coil tap, and hear what this thing can do. Okay, so I'll be playing the guitar through this Princeton Reverb. It's got a 12 inch Alnico Blue, and it's mic'd with a Royer R10. And that's the setup, going into uh, my Mac computer, into GarageBand. No post-processing, it's just raw audio.
We covered everything. Let's talk about my final thoughts, like pros and cons. So the fit and finish is very good. It's not flawless. Like I did find little imperfections in uh, the color leaking in the binding, certain spots. A um, little bit of rough edge on the uh, rosewood down here. Um, nothing that stands out as being, well, nothing performance-wise. Like it doesn't, doesn't change anything, just little cosmetic things. So not 100% perfect, but very close. Nothing unusual. Stuff I've seen on Gibson Epiphone. I guess that's really the closest comparison. This would be like close to a, an Epiphone in terms of price too. Um, frets again are amazing. They're rounded, they're smooth, they're awesome. The switch, cheaper feeling. Again, not bad. It just doesn't feel solid. You can actually feel it like bending a little bit. Uh, locking tuners are great. Smooth when I was turning the, uh, when I was doing the tuning. The machine heads are really, are really tuned. I was gonna say tuned. <laughs> they're really smooth. Got a machine head, just like Bush. Remember them? Yeah, no issues there other than that. It's great. I think the top looks awesome and the price is decent. Last time I took a look at uh, the price, it was US price listed $5.99. So they're creeping up to like Epiphone prices, but I think Epiphone prices are creeping up to other values too. So maybe that's the closest comparison, Epiphone and EART. And uh, you let me know. Okay, there you go. If you want to check one out, take a look in uh, the description for affiliate links. They sell these, they have their own site. They also sell them on Amazon. I don't know if this model is listed there yet. I always recommend them. They've been a solid value. They've always been really nice. I don't get special models sent to me. Sometimes they're directly from Amazon. Sometimes they're directly from EART. So this is what you get. Yeah, that's that's a bit, that's a bit about boot, that reboot. That's all I gotta say about that. Okay, play guitar and have fun. Just like the shirt, I got these shirts. Look how pretty it is. It's not pretty at all. All right, play guitar and have fun, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. You hang out for a bit. We gotta edit.